a summary. <clears throat> what did we discuss? We first discussed what are not-for-profit organizations. What is a not-for-profit organization? It is a separate legal entity. It is a separate accounting entity, but it is created not for earning profits. It is not a trading entity. Sometimes these entities are also called non-trading entities. So why are they formed? They are formed either to give service to its members or to some particular section of the people or some specific purpose. For example, it may be to run a library, it may be to run a public school, it may be a charitable institution, it may be a club where its members can come and relax, etc. So the idea is to provide some service to its members or any particular section of the people. It may be to promote arts, it may be to promote sport, etc. <clears throat> so they are made not for the purpose of earning profits. How are the financial statements? What are the final accounts of a not-for-profit organization? As said before, they do not earn profits. If they do have any excess of income, they do get incomes in the form of subscription, entrance fees, membership fees, etc. If they have any excess of income over expenditure, it is not called profit. It is called surplus and it is kept in a fund called accumulated fund or general fund or capital fund. There is no capital, there is no profit and there is no distribution of profit in a not-for-profit organization. The financial statements or final accounts consist of a receipts and payments account which we said is a summary cash book. Since it is a summary cash book, we can say it is in the nature of a real account. Inflows and outflows of cash are recorded. A summary cash book, not really a part of the account, of the double entry as such, but it's a summary cash book. What happens is in a club or a not-for-profit organization, double entry may not be maintained and books may not be kept in the following the elaborate, following an elaborate double entry system. Only some records of members, some uh, there would be a bank statement, records of members and membership fees collected, though that outstanding, and maybe some notings of the cash receipts and payments. With the help of all this, First, a summary cash book or a receipts and payments account is prepared. From the receipts and payments account, we try to find out profit or loss. Only we don't call it profit or loss. It is either an excess of income or it is an excess of expenditure. Surplus or <clears throat> deficit. Deficit is the surplus of expect, is the excess of. Deficit is what? Excess of expenditure over income. From the receipts and payments, we take all the revenue items, bring it to the income expenditure account, make adjustments for accruals and outstandings, adjust for depreciation and arrive at the surplus or deficit. So this is prepared to find out surplus or deficit. It is in the nature of a nominal account. It is similar to the profit and loss account of a profit organization. And then we prepare a balance sheet with the help of the opening accumulated fund which is got from the opening statement of affairs or opening balance sheet. We look at the receipts and payments and see what capital receipts and capital payments were there. Make necessary adjustments, outstanding accruals if there are anything at the end of the year these are also brought into the balance sheet. The surplus or deficit is added or subtracted from the general fund in the balance sheet. What is the difference between the financial statements of a profit organization and not-for-profit organization? 
<clears throat> they prepare a profit and loss account. These people prepare an income and expenditure account. NPOs pre prepare an income and expenditure account. Profit organizations prepare a profit and loss account with the help of a trial balance from the trial balance. But income expenditure is prepared largely from the receipts and payments account. So they ascertain profit, they ascertain surplus. Profit is taken to the capital account or a general reserve. It belongs to, it becomes a shareholder's equity or owner's equity. Whereas surplus is actually added to the fund. There is no capital. There is no capital and there is no distribution of profit. <clears throat> Some special items we considered. We considered the specific donation when money is received for a specific purpose. It is kept in a specific fund and it is capitalized. Appears on the liability side of the balance sheet till the purpose for which the fund was created is met. Once the purpose is met, the amount in the fund can be transferred to the general or accumulated fund. We also discussed the adjustments with respect to subscription. Since there could be opening outstanding subscription, opening subscription received in advance and similarly the same for the end of the year. With that, we come to the end of our discussion. Thank you.